This news just changed the Calgary Flames season as we have a huge roster update. One of the Flames' three goaltenders will be out for the rest of the season. So in this video, we will discuss what the Flames will do for the rest of this season and for the foreseeable future. Welcome to Flames Digest. I'm Mark Griffith. If you're new around here, you love the Flames, make sure you subscribe because right around 83% of the people watching are not subscribed. So if you want to stay up to date on all the latest news, updates, reports, and rumors surrounding the Calgary Flames, then make sure you join the fastest growing community of Flames fans on the internet. And yes, there's some unfortunate news as one of the Flames' goalkeepers, goalkeepers is this soccer, one of their goaltenders, will be out for the rest of the season with an injury. That's too bad, but it does provide a good opportunity for the rest. So without further ado, let's get into it with some tough news for Vladar. Dan Vladar has been a pretty steady backup goalie during his tenure with the Calgary Flames. This season has been a little bit rocky for him, not the best stats, um, which is too bad because he's a great guy and has been a great goalie. Comes to the rink day in and day out. Make sure the Flames get their warm-ups, get their practices in. And he, from what I have heard, is a phenomenal guy. He always seems to have a smile on his face. It was hard to get a photo of him where he isn't smiling for the thumbnail. I did the best I could to try and make him look a little upset because it does suck for him. But Dan Vladar will undergo season-ending hip surgery. Markstrom has been cleared for full practice and game participation. So it's interesting that they announced it on the same day. They're almost waiting for Markstrom to be back in order for Vladar to get that surgery. Dustin Wolf will remain on the roster on an emergency recall basis. So pretty much what that means is I'm sure he'll be going between Flames Wranglers, but definitely more with the Flames. That's where they want him to be, and I'm sure that's where he wants to be as well. But it is a tough blow for Vladar. Like I said, just a great guy, such a professional, and he is going in to a surgery, which can be concerning, but... It does shut down the rest of his season where he could have got some pretty good minutes with the remaining games here as the Flames will not be playing very meaningful hockey. A great chance for him to get more experience and show what he's really made of. But let's look in to a bit of an article here. So Vladar will finish the season with an 8-9-2 record with an 882 save percentage and 362 goals against average. So like I said, not the best stats this year, not a winning record, a sub-900 save percentage and over 3.5 goals per game is really not what you want from any goalie in the league, really, but especially a quality backup of his caliber. And we've seen in the past, you know, he's gotten shutouts in previous seasons. He's played quite well. This season wasn't it. And unfortunately, he does get an injury and his stats will remain not so great heading into the offseason, which means his value is less if the Flames were to trade him away. Now, he does have one more year on his contract um, for next season. So he's, I believe it's 2.2 mil a season for this year and next year. So I'm sure he will want to still be with the Flames and I'm sure the Flames will keep him around. Actually, let's look into this. The Flames announced Thursday morning, the 26 year old will go under the knife next week. Adding in a statement, the surgery will allow Vladar the rehabilitation period required for a full recovery and to ensure he is ready to start the 2024-25 NHL season on schedule so yes looks like he will remain as a Calgary Flame going into next season and it is true it does suck having season ending injury um having season ending surgery for any player in any sport but it will give him the time in order to make sure he is fully rehabilitated healthy and hopefully happy going into next season and he can be who knows what the goalie situation will be like next year, whether Markstrom's still there, whether Wolf is now the full-time starter, or if Vladar will have a big, big role. So either way, it gives him the time to be ready for next season. Now, speaking of the other goalies, Wolf and Markstrom, there is a golden opportunity here. Now, not exactly for Markstrom, because he already just has been the starter for the Flames, but it's a golden opportunity for Dustin Wolf, who's already seen some NHL quality time lately, um, with Markstrom being injured. Now, with Ladar out, Wolf has an even better opportunity. What time is it? It's Dustin Wolf time again. Shout out Habs Digest for it. the very punny AI picture there. The Wolf, that's Dustin, Dustin Wolf. It is Dustin Wolf time in Calgary. Flames fans are super excited about this guy. It's great whenever we can say his name as, I guess, a media person. I'm just more so just talking about it. But Wolfie, 
it's more time for him as the season continues. Markstrom will most likely get the start on Saturday in Vancouver against his former team, but Wolf could see more game time on that Sunday of the back-to-back -back against Buffalo back here in Calgary, and it's exciting going into the end of the season to see if Wolf will get more action. But... Frankly, things couldn't have worked out better for Wolf. With all due respect to Vladar, who has been a fairly dependable backup and a stellar human who's done a great job as Markstrom's right-hand man, the 26-year-old is much more of a long shot than Wolf to be tabbed for the full-time starting job with the Flames. Wow, is that ever a run-on sentence? I lost my breath three times just doing that one sentence. The 22-year-old Wolf has been the best player in the AHL for a couple of seasons already and has shown in flashes in recent Flames games that he could be something special or at least really solid at the world's top level too. So this is from the Hockey News and it is true. It does suck for, for Vladar. Any injury does but it does present a very good opportunity for Wolf here. A guy who Flames fans would rather have as the starter going into next year if Jacob Markstrom isn't healthy. Um, so great opportunity here for Wolf, really. I mean, he's he's got a chance to really get some quality minutes here and be the goalie of the future for the Flames. I mean, I've said it again. Markstrom could be on the way out. Flames fans, I think, would rather have Wolf. Vladar's still going to be here next year. Now, whether that's in a starting role or a backup role or even a third string, the Flames might have all three of them still next year. But I think as the fans and probably just the coaches within the development area of the organization would rather have Wolf having a bigger role next year as he has shown this year that he is ready. Now let's take a look here. Jacob Markstrom is on the ice for practice at the Dome. This is from today. His first practice with the team since morning skate on March 12th prior to the Colorado game. Markstrom was cleared for full practice earlier this morning. So Markstrom for the rest of this season does look ready to go. I mean, obviously that's in saying he won't get injured again this year, but Markstrom is ready to go. I think that's why they pulled the plug on Vladar season and I'm sure he wanted the surgery and the organization wanted the surgery. So Markstrom is ready to go now. Now, he's had bumps and bruises, so maybe he won't be at full capacity and the Flames do want to keep his value as high as possible. So while he is ready to go and will most likely play on Saturday uh, against Vancouver, there's still a chance. Wolf could see a lot of games here to make sure that Markstrom doesn't get more banged up and his value decreases going into the summer. Uh, Markstrom will probably get the majority of starts the rest of the way, but Wolf could get more looks than a traditional backup as Calgary Flames general manager Craig Conroy needs to know Wolf's development potential. With the likelihood of a Markstrom trade this offseason, the team probably wants to make sure he's fresh and at his best for each of his remaining starts as well after a few injuries have pulled him out of the lineup in short spurts this year. So that kind of encompasses pretty much everything what I just said, but... It is true. Markstrom, it does say, it kind of contradicts itself in saying Markstrom will probably get the majority of starts the rest of the way. Now, that could literally just mean 51% of the starts left. I know there's only a few games left and that math doesn't quite make sense. But I don't know. I think we could see Wolf in a little more than Markstrom to make sure Markstrom does stay healthy and to know, like it says there, to know Wolf's development potential. I think the only way to truly develop for him left at this point is to get NHL minutes. He's shown at the AHL level what he can do. So the only way for him to develop further is to get more NHL action. And what better time to do it in a season where the playoff hopes are gone and you know, he's already shown what he can do in those games against Montreal and Vegas. This is his time. It should be Wolfie time. I'm sure the fans will be asking for him to start in a lot of these games, or at least play in a lot of these games with Vladar now out for the season. But this does beg the million dollar question. Yes, we've touched on it in this video. We've touched on it in previous videos, but the million dollar question, what goalie should the Flames commit to for the future between Markstrom, Vladar and Wolf. I think after this season with how good Markstrom has been, a lot of people will say Jacob Markstrom. Don't trade him this offseason. Um, he's so good. He's established in the NHL already. He doesn't need to develop. That's fair, but we've also seen Markstrom very inconsistent from a year-to-year -year basis and his value will never be higher for a trade. And if he's already a little disgruntled within the organization, then it might be best to move on from him. 
Vladar should be fully healthy going into next year. Now, he did have a rough season this year, but we've seen what he can do in the past, and he could be the starter for the Flames, especially if the Flames are kind of more in a bit of a tank mode next year. But we'll have to see what the Flames do in the offseason with all their cap room and all of their draft capital as well. Well, and then the third option is, of course, Dustin Wolf, which I think the majority of Flames fans will say him. He's the goalie the Flames should commit to for the future. Let's get him in games now, get him that experience, and he'll just get better and better as he gains more experience, more NHL games. But I want to know from you guys, who should the Flames commit to between the pipes for the future and for the rest of this year as well. Please let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here today, make sure you subscribe and have a fantastic rest of your day.